with this situation here and the opportunity I have at hand, I mean, it's like the world's been lifted off my shoulders. I was under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, you know, with a family on team. Just making the race alone, because if we didn't make the race, then, you know, it was tough on paying bills come Monday and Tuesday. There's pressure here, but it's a different style of pressure. Here, I call it fun pressure, because it's a lot of fun. I'm just having the time of my life. I mean, this is like every kid's dream. Here we come, four tires, no adjustments. Well, it's, it's astonishing, you know, and uh, quite fabulous to be a part of Kevin and Elena Harvick and giving me this great opportunity, you know, and I will have two champions, Bobby Labonte being a cup champion and Kevin Harvick being a uh, Bush Series champion, you know, splitting time with them throughout the season. I'm sure there's a lot to learn and uh, I'm willing to learn and, you know, hopefully tackle this task that I have at hand for me for, throughout the year. We have quite a few amount of employees here at KHI and then, you know, I don't have the long hours that I, that I had there at, at Davis Motorsports with my father and, you know, when I get to spend a lot of time, you know, uh, working out throughout the week, you know, and that prepares myself mentally and physically. That usually starts off at 7.30 at KHI. I come in, you know, help mount seats, leg braces, uh, just, just whatever's at hand, you know, uh, help assemble cars, get everything ready. Uh, for the upcoming event, and, you know, and it may be even a race car that we're getting ready that's uh, two months down the road, you know, we're trying to stay ahead of uh, of everything there and, uh, you know, just whatever's at hand if the guys need me to help them do. I'm pretty much an old school racer. All I know is hard work and dedication, you know, and I'm going to probably do that until my racing career is ended you know, hopefully many years to down the road, but, you know, I'm always going to be in the shop and be hands-on and, and seeing what's at hand and what's new coming out, you know, and I've learned quite a bit since I've been here, you know, and I, I think that's going to help me as a driver also. Over here, you know, you got the, uh, it's where they do the 77 bush cars. They do all, they got two or three guys, that, that's all they do. They do all the bodies for the 77, you know, throughout the whole year. That's, that's all they do. So you were close to quit. Close to it. Close to it. You know, it's kind of hard to say, and some people might take it the wrong way, but, you know, I was really fixing to be 26 years old. I was looking at reality. You know, I, I knew I could do it. I believed in myself. Everybody believed in me, but it was getting to the time and point where nothing was happening. It's like I just stalled out my career and it wasn't going any further. I told my father, in July, right before we went to Chicago, you know, we knew that money situation wasn't that great. Things were hard, times were hard, and I done decided that after uh, Homestead that, that I was quitting and going to work for a team probably as being a mechanic or a car chief or maybe one day even a crew chief, uh, you know, but I just kept thriving on and he kept pushing along, begging, borrowing all the money he could to keep me going. and. I got a great break, you know, and I got lucky. And I feel very fortunate to get this break because there's a lot of young talent out there that'll never get this opportunity that I've gotten. And I'm very fortunate and very thankful to have this opportunity. Man, this is probably the happiest I've been in my whole life, you know, and I'm just trying to take full advantage of it. You know that you got the ability and you believe in yourself. Sometimes you have doubts. But I've never had not one doubt in my ability and what I can do, you know, and I've been truly blessed. And when I've got this opportunity here, man, I'm just, I'm just so ecstatic, you know, and really looking forward to it. My theory is you got to treat every day like it's your first. You got to stay humble about the whole situation because you can go down the ladder a lot quicker than you go up. And I, and I know that. That's a pretty good quote, ain't it? That's pretty good, right? <laughs>